Hello there folks, welcome to Silent Film Saturday, episode number 73. I'm Joey DeAngelis with this week's installment, Dr. Jack with Harold Lloyd. Brief rundown of the plot at first. We have a doctor who uses unconventional methods to cure people and then he meets this girl who always seems to be sick but really isn't always that sick and is always under the care of this doctor who is able to make money off of people because he gives them false diagnosis. So let's talk about this for a sec. This release is from the Harold Lloyd collection, um, comedy collection which was released a few years ago through New Line Cinema I think and uh, well, Criterion handling some of the Harold Lloyd stuff now um, I don't know how they're going to release this film because it's only a 60 minute movie <laughs> 60 minutes long and it's not very not a long movie it's, and actually next Monday at 1 a.m. 2014 in case you're watching this video in the future they will be airing this movie on TCM I believe November 17th at 1 a.m. this movie's an hour long like I said and the first half I loved and the second half I was kind of I kind of lost interest because it got more into the story and aspects of that the movie itself, I think, starts off strong with a bunch of gags with Her Lloyd trying to, you know, get things done with work because he's a doctor in the movie, Dr. Jack. He's a titular character. And there's some really nice unconventional ways he cures, you know, ills and such. Um, there's this old elderly woman who doesn't get to see her son often and he tells her he's going to bring the medicine in and the medicine happens to be her son who doesn't get to visit her often and happy things. I think it's really nice and sentimental in that sense, which I think Lloyd does rather well. And his, you know, like a, his glasses character really is fitting in this movie. Then you have other, you know, he helps kids, he helps the elderly. He's just a really nice all around good guy. Uh, one of my favorite gags in the, in the movie is where he's having, there's lunch scene and there's like, he's constantly interrupting the evil doctor's lunch it be like hitting the table, just, you know, turning around, doing all sorts of things. I find it really funny. And there's this other scene, or these title cards. Now, I've always found that Lloyd used title cards more for jokes than the other two, um, like Keaton or Chaplin. And there's one of, two, two of my favorite title cards. One of them being Dr. Jack. He works from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. He would collect three, He would make $300 a year, but he doesn't collect it. Or something to that effect. The other one was, this doctor's charges are so high, they look like German war debts. <laughs> Which is funny, because they they only paid those off recently. From World War One. so... Jeez, there's that. But this movie, I'd say, it's not The Freshman, it's not Safety Last, it's not The Kid Brother. There's, there's better Harold Lloyd movies. But Dr. Jack is charming enough to where... You know, if you watch this every so often, I think, you know, it's a good movie. I would definitely pres prescribe, haha, <laughs> Dr. Jack. Next time, I'm reviewing The Dragon Painter. See you guys next week.